Dear friends, welcome to the Daily Bible Wisdom. We live in a world of relativism where there is no objective truth but only subjective opinions. What is right for one culture, one nation and one person may not be right for the other. In such a world, what is truth is an ever relevant question. Jesus tells in the gospel reading of today if you make my word your home you will know the truth and truth will set you free in the gospel of John chapter 17 verse 17 he says father sanctify them in your truth and your word is the truth in other words Jesus tells his word is the truth in this world when we base our lives on the word of god we will be able to live our lives freely and courageously we have a good example in the first reading of today from the book of daniel chapter 3 when king nebuchadnezzar of babylon built a golden statue and ordered the entire nation to worship before him before the statue as a sign of loyalty towards him the three young men shadrak meshak abednego did not obey the commandment of the king they were ready to lay down their lives just because they don't want to betray their god they want to keep the first commandment of god that there is no other god besides me and when king punished them putting them into a furnace afterwards when king inquired about these three young men to their surprise they found in the furnace walking along with the angel of god then king has realized that the god of shadrak meshak abignado is a true god and he appreciated the courageousness and freedom of these three young men to lay down their lives just because they want to follow the commandment of the lord the word of the lord which they believed as the truth in their lives these three young men could do that just because they based their lives on the truth of the god's word god's commandment so they lived their life freely and courageously even to the extent of forgoing their lives that is the ultimate freedom any person could express in their lives when we base our lives on the commandments of god on the word of god we will be able to live our lives freely but if we enslave our lives to the idols of this world then we are not free today let us ask ourselves have we made the word of god as a home so that we live our lives freely what are the idols of our lives that are not allowing us to live our life in freedom may god help us on our lenten journey sometimes it causes me to tremble